sun feels great today. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Life in the Edwards College moves so fast that if you don't stop and pay attention, it'll breeze right by. My favorite spot is definitely Edwards. I'm here all the time. You can just rest under the stairs, just chill in the courtyard. There's benches, there's fountain. I love being in the studio the most because that's where I get the most of my work done and where I feel the most productive. There's so many memories, but my absolute favorite, I would just have to say, is meeting my faculty members in my major. They made life so much, so easy for me. They allowed me to do what I wanted at Coastal. They made me feel like this is a second home for me. They're kind of like parents to me almost. And they make me love Coastal and make me love what I'm doing with my life right now. Edwards College of Humanities and Fine Arts, everything we do is about innovation. It's understanding the world around us and grasping the human experience. Being human in the humanities and fine arts means being curious, thinking critically, communicating openly, bringing creativity, having agility, and building empathy. The Edwards College consists of 12 departments and academic programs. 18 undergraduate degree programs, 23 undergraduate minors and certificates, four graduate programs, and still plenty of room for growth. Here's a snapshot of some of our accomplished faculty. Undergraduate majors in the college are diverse and include areas of study such as anthropology and geography, visual arts, digital culture and design, English, intelligence and national security, music, and theater. Outside the classroom, you'll have the opportunity to work on projects that have a lasting impact on our community with the Athenaeum Press. Gain valuable knowledge and policy research with the Dyer Fellows and develop leadership skills while learning how to make ethical and value-based decisions in the Jackson Scholars Program. The Edwards College is also home to the Charles Joyner Institute for Gullah and African Diaspora Studies. The Institute facilitates the study of African populations to local geographical areas and the evolution of blended cultures like the Gullah. Everything you learn in the humanities and the fine arts will prepare you for a career after academia. Hear from a few of our students about why they chose Coastal and some of their favorite memories. Hi. My name is Fabio and my major is Intelligence and National Security Studies. I chose CCU for a very simple reason and that was because of the people. When I was in high school, I wanted to do something that I was attracted to, so national security was right up my alley at CCU. But I also wanted to make sure that I would be around people who I could connect with and who I could grow with. I believe that as long as you did what you loved in life and were around people that you loved, not only would you be happy, but you'd be successful. And many years later, this is still true. And I'm proud to be able to call people at CCU a part of my family. And that's what makes the difference, is the people. 
Hi, I'm Brianna. I am finishing up my sophomore year at Coastal and I am a double major in art studio and graphic design with a minor in philosophy. So I decided to come to Coastal because I went to an art school in Greenville, South Carolina called the Fine Art Center for one year where I took photography and fiber uh, art making and so my photography professor used to be a professor at Coastal. So he told me about Coastal and I found out that they had a wonderful arts program and that's just where I decided that I wanted to go and I've since learned that this is definitely where I need to be and I have added a second major and a minor so it'll take me maybe an extra year to finish all of it which I'm not mad at because I love Coastal so much and all the people in the visual arts department. I've lived in Conwell my life so since I was seven years old I've lived here so um, it was a no-brainer honestly uh, being down the street essentially down 501 about 10 minutes away and I know that they had a good political science system which is what I'm majoring in and I heard a lot of good things about it you know at my church even um, teachers who had gone to my high school had graduated from there and it was something I've always wanted to do I always wanted to go to Coastal you know I had like shirts when I was young and things like that my dad you know would would go he, he, as soon as I got accepted to school he went and he got some um, stickers to put on the the company you know truck and things like that so it's something I always wanted to do since I was young and um, I'm really really glad to be able to do that proud of that appreciate it Hello, my name is Caitlin Childers. I'm a graphic designer and art history major at Coastal Carolina. I chose Coastal because out of all the colleges I toured, they were the only one that seemed really excited about what they're doing and they really wanted to show me what was going on and I just, I felt included in a way that I didn't in other tours. What's up everyone? My name is Bob Tabron. I am a junior communication major here at Coastal Carolina University. And something that made me decide to come to Coastal would definitely be the campus. It's absolutely beautiful and whenever you're in between classes, it's just really nice to walk around. I think one of my best memories from Coastal so far is um, maybe last spring, one of my sculpture classes, a bunch of us started working outside in the Hot Works area. So it was just nice to go outside and enjoy the fresh air and the heat and just work on our projects outside and just kind of soak up the sun and it was just so enjoyable. Best memory at Coastal, I'd have to say it was, it was orientation, honestly. Um, I've only been to school about a semester and a half, so I am fairly new to it, but um, going on campus, I had been twice before, and once for my middle school, once for my high school, because I'm a local uh, resident. And I had and enjoyed it, but I, had gotten, I hadn't gotten to see the ins and outs of the campus and being able to actually go to the Edwards College, the college I was going to be in probably for the next four years, um, and just like going in there and, see, and looking at some of the classrooms, just the environment, what it was, the courses that they offered and everything, I think that was definitely a highlight. I really enjoyed that. Best memory from Coastal has to be moving in again my second year and seeing all my friends and us being excited about all the classes we're going to take. It's, I don't know, it's pretty great. <laughs> best memory so far from college is probably Coastal's first televised game on ESPN. That was really nice to be a part of and they had a little cool intro with motorcycles, the crowd was packed. It was really dope to be a part of. What I'm going to miss the most without a doubt are the people. I've made a lot of great friends, a lot of great relationships have been forged in college and there's no telling where life is going to take everybody after college, after graduation. But without a doubt, it's the people, like I said at the beginning, that make the difference. Um, and that's what I'm going to miss the most. I think I'm gonna miss our professors the most when I graduate because the people in the art department have just a little something extra that isn't required to be a teacher. They, they really want to help us grow and make sure that we get better in our skills and just kind of make those relationships with us. Something I'm going to miss when I graduate would definitely be Till Tuesday and Fried Chicken Friday. Some of the best days you can be a part of here on campus. The thing I'm going to miss the most once I graduate is being in an environment where I feel backed up and I, I can go to someone and, and show them what I'm working on or my projects or my ideas and I can get positive feedback or negative feedback sometimes. Um, from someone who knows what they're talking about. I'm, I'm gonna miss a learning environment because there aren't very many places like that. Hello everyone. I wish you could be here for this Discovery Day and take a good look around, not only on campus, but also at the beautiful area here in Conway and Myrtle Beach. 
because as you all know, we have this amazing 60 miles of beach right here, which I personally enjoy after a long day at work, just some long walks here by the water. It's very relaxing. 